David Pierboom, I'm the co-owner of Ioku Cardio Lounge. I, you know, Ioku Cardio Lounge is, um, when Kirsten and I developed Ioku Cardio Lounge, we developed, we wanted to develop a space, um, a non-intimidating space, so we, we actually did a few different um, forms in that we asked the question, what did people like and dislike about gyms as a whole? And there was two issues that came up quite consistently, and it was, first off, we don't want the the quote-unquote muscle head. Uh, we didn't want the intimidation factor of, you know, the, the grunting and the groaning, the dropping of weights, um, the posing in front of the mirrors. Uh, so we eliminated the weights. We created a space that was for cardio only, for cardio enthusiasts, um, to, to get a very comfortable, energy-filled workout. Um, and the other thing that we wanted to eliminate was uh, the intimidating membership fees. So many people had said, you know what, there's times when I take off for two weeks in the summer or I'm away on business for four weeks and I'm so frustrated in watching that come off of my credit card every single time, if I'm there or not. Um, so this basically is a pay-as-you-go type environment. Uh, we have a lifetime membership fee, which is paid once and only once, and then we offer two different services to the client. You can pay a $49 fee, which you have unlimited use of the cardio machines um, that are currently in the in the uh, gym and then you can also do it a pay as you go so every time you come in you pay for your use so really there's no um, there's nothing intimidating there's nothing hidden it is you design how you want to use this facility personally I have a background in personal training I did personal training for a long time it's actually the reason that I came to this building um, about 10 years ago I came into the building looking to set up a personal training studio and at the time the building wasn't prepared to let me put showers in and such like that. I was at that time in the fashion business and because of what happened I ended up staying in the fashion business and, and still am to this day. I have a, a fashion company that I work with Kirsten on. Um, we design clothing and handbags. We have a few different lines of clothing and handbags out on the market today. Um, but my passion was always in the physical fitness. Um, Kirsten's a runner. Uh, I've, I've worked out for a long time as well and I had the personal training background so we wanted to open a facility that was like we said non-intimidating, available, affordable um, and like we said nothing hidden. 
Ayoko in Japanese means passion and love. And um, this project has definitely been our passion and our love. And it is, uh, it's everything that we wanted it to be. It's turned out into, you know, if you will, our baby. It is uh, that project that turned out exactly how we saw it, it should be. I think the inspiration comes um, obviously within the fashion business. We spend a lot of our time over uh, in Asia. In you know, we have offices in Hong Kong, China. We travel Asia quite a bit. Uh, we're usually there on a six-week turn. We'll spend six weeks here, six weeks back in Asia. So we wanted to create an environment that was, um, I think, two things: that was very, very comfortable for us, and that was very, very authentic. We didn't want um, anything kitschy. We wanted it to be real. So when we put this together, Kirsten and I went on a tour of Asia and handpicked all the pieces that you see around here. Uh, I think it has a, a few unique selling points. I mean, one is um, that it's true. It really is an affordable, non-intimidating space that you will get energy from just coming in. Um, this is uh, accessible. It's in a in just a wonderful neighborhood in, in Liberty Village. and. Uh, what makes it unique is, first off, it's, it's directed. It's a niche type market. It's almost like a boutique style gym that is very, very affordable. I mean, $49 a month is very, very affordable. That's five or six lattes. Um, so we have uh, all top of the end, or top of the line machines. Uh, we have a few machines coming in that are a bit of a secret, but uh, they will be coming in. And they're, they, you know, they'll be the only ones or ones of very few in Canada. And those are coming in within the next couple of months. But it's a space that has its own energy. It's a, it's a wonderful ambiance. It has, um, like I said, an authentic feel to it in a non-intimidating, affordable environment. On the staff right now, we currently have, there's obviously Kirsten and myself. Um, Melissa is our manager and our lead personal trainer. And then we have four different, uh, we, we work with two people, um, Ali and Shelley, who are owners of a Kung Fu studio in Toronto called Temple Knights, um, a very prestigious temple. And they have designed some of the classes for us. Uh, and then we have uh, a gentleman, Chris, who's going to teach our woman's self-defense course. We have Lindsay, who is just a dynamic aerobic instructor. Um, and then we also have Samantha, who's going to be teaching Breathe, one of our classes that is um, a yoga, stretch, Pilates sort of uh, amalgamation. You know what, and, and not to be pompous or arrogant, that, that that is something that Kirsten and I can control. And again, it was one of the frustrations that, that both Kirsten and I have always had in gyms is that you go into a space and it's too crowded, you can't get on the, the machine, you, you, you can't get your time on the machine, whatever. So um, we've right now said that we'll cap it at 500 members, but um, we have the ability to say at one point, you know what, this is very, very comfortable. We have enough members, the machines are being used, everybody is happy, we can cap the membership. So at the moment we've said that we'll cap it at 500, um, but if that is 350 or 550, we have the ability to do that. I think just, you know, with the environment and with that we are targeting cardio, we're probably looking at about 70 to 75 percent female, um, a young professional, uh, female, so you're probably in the 22 to 39, is our target. And I would say the majority of the clients that will be in here. But right now, I mean, um, like I said, just being open now for just over a week, uh, we're finding a great range. And it's, it is about 75% female so far. Um, but it's a great range of client because this is such a, an intriguing type of uh, neighborhood. Uh, so we're getting, you know, business owners, we're getting receptionists, we're getting artists. It's, it's wonderful. The mix of people are just wonderful. And the comments that are coming back from, you know, from world-class designers and telling us, wow, you did a great job with this space and we love what's being offered. So it's, it's very, very encouraging for us. L Liberty Village, like I said, I mean, with my other business, I've been now in Liberty Village 10 years. And Liberty Village is one of these sort of model communities that are, it's growing within Toronto. It, it is a young, entrepreneurial, very creative, which challenges us daily um, to be something different. When Kirsten and I put the design of this, uh, of this studio together, we had to constantly keep that in mind, that there's world-class designers working here, and we want them to come down and, and be comfortable in the space. And we've had that feedback. So 
to answer your question, I think it's a very young, it's a very entrepreneurial, it's a very creative, um, growing community. And, um, Melissa is uh, Melissa is our, our personal trainer and manager. Um, she's can fit uh, trained. She's also ace, uh, which is you know sort of the the highest in a Canadian and the highest in a North American that you could get in personal training. The classes that we've had designed, like I said, we went to Temple Knights um, to design two of our classes. One is called Urasai, and the other one is called Tonse. Um, both of these are a hybrid of martial arts, aerobics, and we went to the best to help design these classes. Um, Ali, who is the owner of Temple Knights, uh, personally designed with his wife, who um, is a world-class aerobic teacher, um, they personally designed the Tonsei class. And we have run through it with them, and then they have personally trained Lindsay in that. So it's, um, everything is put together with thought, in, even in our classes, it's only six people in our classes. We wanted um, a class where the instructor can actually work with you, teach you something. It's not a warehouse where we're barking commands to 28 people. This is a semi-private class where you're actually going to learn true teachings of Kung Fu, true teachings of Tai Chi, get the aerobic workout, involve all your senses in the, in, you know, in the sound and in sight. And some of them, we involve visuals of the class. So it, um, it was very important to us that we created an authentic class as we have with the environment. It is just shy of 2,400 square feet. We're about 2,380 square feet. Um, we also have the opportunity to expand another 220 square feet. We have space available to us. Uh, it's exclusive to us and we're already now starting to make plans for that extra space. We designed um, everything that you see. We picked the paint color, we picked the wood, um, the floors are, you know, uh, bamboo floors that Kirsten and I picked. I think the inspiration came from, um, first off, our passion for an Asian environment. Um, like I said, a lot of our life is spent there. Um, but it was also our passion for originality. We, we didn't want any sort of, you know, quote unquote, knockoff pieces. We wanted to all be original. Um, and I think it was inspired a lot by our travels, our likes, our dislikes in this type of environment. We wanted to make sure it was service oriented. Um, we wanted to make sure it was authentic. So I think a lot of it was inspired by restaurants we visited in, in Tokyo, in Hong Kong. One of our favorite restaurants is, is in Hong Kong. Um, and you know, we took a lot of vision from there. Um, restaurants in New York and you know, spas in, in, um, in Beijing that we'd been to. So we've kind of tied everything together and, and put a lot of our personal taste into it. And this is it. I think um, what is lacking from a lot of service industry in North America, not as much Canada but maybe more in, in the United States, is uh, the fact that, you know what, as far as we are concerned, as far as Kirsten and I are concerned, that this is your time when you're in here. We want you to be relaxed. So we want to offer you an environment that offers a service. Um, to give you an example, it's, it's a full towel service when you come here. Uh, that's included in membership. And what I mean by full towel service is there's a towel waiting for you in your locker when you arrive. There's extra towels available in the showers. When you get on the machine, there's a towel sitting there just as a sweat towel. When you get off the machine, we present you with a nice, cool, scented towel. Um, it's the type of services that would be uh, offered at any spa without the price of a spa. Um, when you're finished your shower, you're offered a cup of tea. It, and it's three different teas that Kirsten and I, um, you know, we have basically, if design is the right word, that we've put together for Ayukua Cardio Lounge. So those are the type of services that you should expect from a small sort of boutique environment like this and not necessarily have to pay, you know, crazy amounts for. Um, that's the type of service that we wanted to bring here. You know, the personal training is exactly that, personal training. It's about you. It's about what your desires are, what your goals are. Um, the classes were designed to involve everybody. That's why they're semi-private classes. They do involve everybody. So that's, um, we, we did, we wanted to bring back a service to an industry that may have neglected it for a while. You're not just a member or a number here. You are a person, you are Maggie, you know, you are Kirsten. Yeah, we have, um, currently there's 14 machines in here um, and they range from, you know, a recumbent bicycle to an upright bicycle. Uh, obviously we offer a selection of treadmills. Uh, there is, um, three elliptical trainers in here as well. 
they're all top end. I mean, the elliptical trainers are the first ones to offer gradient change plus movable arms. And um, we also have a new machine coming in from Italy called the Wave. The Wave is basically an elliptical trainer that offers an outward motion as well as an up and down motion. There's very few of them in Canada, but I have trained with them in Hong Kong. I love the machine. So we brought in a couple from Italy. Um, and like I had explained earlier, there's a, a secret machine coming in um, which is called the Power Plate. The Power Plate is a vibration technology machine and there are very few of them in Canada. In fact, as I know, as of today, there's only one other one in Toronto uh, and it's at the Toronto General Hospital. You know what, the, the press in, the, in the, the first week that we've been open has just been phenomenal. We, um, uh, overnight, we were featured on blog.to, uh, sweetspot.ca, um, in uh, National, we have had the National Post did an article on us. The Toronto Star wrote an, just an amazing article on us, on the service and ambiance. The Globe and Mail this weekend in the Talk of the Town article was about Ioko, a cardio lounge. Um, we also did, throughout this whole experience, um, there's an HGTV series called Opening Soon by Design. Uh, they followed us basically from you know, the lifting of the first piece of wood um, to the finished product. And that has already been aired four or five times in the week that we've been open. Um, obviously with yourself. The, the media attention's been just marvelous and very, very positive. Um, we can offer a very, very reasonable price on it because we're eliminating, you know, if you will, the middleman. We design it, we manufacture it, and we can bring it here. Um, so there are a selection of bags. Uh, there is also some, some clothing that we've designed in here. Uh, we designed the uniforms as well, so you can purchase the actual uniform that our trainers wear. Uh, there's a yoga pant, a capri pant, the basic t-shirts are offered, and all at a very, very reasonable price. We also designed some bags. There's a toiletry bag, uh, there's a shower bag, uh, there is a, uh, a hip bag to hold your water and, and keys and such like that. We designed the towels that are in here. You know, there's, there's a pen that we designed that comes with a membership kit a flip-flop bag that keeps your flip-flops dry from the rest of your uh, a little toiletry bag. So yeah, we had, we had to. I mean, it was part of our background. And we are currently open 7 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. Monday to Friday. Um, being in the carpet factory, uh, obviously our first target was the professional audience in this building. And um, that has worked out very, very good. But in this week, we've already learned that there, there was a huge, I think because of the immediate exposure we've had, there's been a huge residential um, as you know, Liberty Village is, is just growing exponentially in, in, the, in the residential side with the condos and such going up. So we've had a great amount of response, uh, actually a gentleman that was just here before you arrived, and we are now looking at opening on the weekends and, and trying to be a little bit different in that we'll, we'll develop um, a crunch and brunch, which is a bit of a working title, but we'll want to involve the young sort of community members that are coming in and moving in and want to meet their neighbor. So we're going to develop maybe, you know, you do a class and we'll arrange it with one of the local restaurants. You go from the class to a brunch and we work it as a nice package price for you. It involves the community, involves the new residential people. You get out to meet your neighbor, have a great workout. The biggest thing, I mean, you know, you, we have um, an opening cost that's $199. That's a lifetime membership. You basically, you pay that once, you never see it again. That is it, $199. And then you have two options in here. Like I said earlier, you can now design how you want to use our facility. If you're a type of member that could, would mainly only become once or twice a week, um, the machines are on half hour intervals and you pay $5 for half hour use of the machine. Your membership says you can spend as much time in the club. When you're using the machine, it's $5 for half an hour. If you're going to use it more than two or three times a week, we offer a $49 once a month unlimited use. Now that starts from when you sign up until the end of that month. We do not automatically charge your credit card and put you on for another month. You have the choice at the end of the month to stay as a $49 member or to go on the pay as you go. You may be going away on a business trip, you may be going to the cottage in the summer, whatever. You can design how you use this facility. Um, what we'll offer him, and basically we'll have you come in and sign up, but the Consumer Protection Act says you have 10 days to make up your mind on this facility, and we welcome that. We would love for you to come in, sign up, and 10 days from now tell us, you know what, we love it, we're going to stay. But you always have that option, and anything that you join in a physical fitness environment, you have 10 days to leave and get a full refund. So that is offered here. I don't hide it. I don't, 
marketed as a 10-day trial only by us. That is available to you by law and we make our customers aware of that. We have a splash page. We've just been so busy. It is uh, www.ioko.cardiolounge.com. And where are you located? Your address? We are located in Liberty Village in the Toronto Carpet Factory, which is 77 Mowat Avenue. So in the King Dufferin area. Uh, and we are Suite 001 in the basement. You can call anyone here at 416-516-8999. I would just, you know, I would love for people to come enjoy it and enjoy the passion that Kirsten and I have put into this. Thank you. Thank you very much. So welcome. Um, I think the first thing I'd love to show you is uh, our logo. Uh, originally the logo started out as Ayoku in true Japanese script and when we looked at it, Kirsten and I looked at it and said, you know what, that means a lot to us, but it didn't really mean much to the client. So we've morphed that into bodies in motion using the Japanese script um, vision and uh, so that's how that's motivated and we've had a great response to this so far. Um, going beyond that you have if you will our mascot. Our mascot is from Xi'an. Um, we actually went to the true uh, Terracotta Warriors dig in Xi'an China and had this replica made for us using the clay from the dig and uh, fired in the museum kilns. So this is a, a very original piece, very unique, and he is our mascot. We call him Jian Zhou. Going beyond that, walking, stepping into the gym, this is our locker area. Uh, again, you have your own locker. Uh, there will always be a towel waiting for you inside of the locker, and these were all custom made and custom designed by us. So to spilling around the corner here, we have our showers. And the showers, again, were designed by us. So it's your own little, little spa environment in there. The stainless steel sinks, the stainless steel showers. Um, again, full towel service in there. We've kind of entered now into the actual cardio area. Um, right here we have the two upright bikes and the one recumbent bike. As you can see in all the machines, there is um, full cable offered on every machine. Each machine has in excess of 60 channels available. Uh, above here you will see, this is our mantra, you will feel better. That is what we want you to experience when you leave here. You will feel better. We will make sure of it. And then you can sort of concentrate on the great wall. Um, our great wall along the back here is um, a bamboo wall, sort of we've kind to simulate a bamboo force. Kirsten and I handpicked all of this bamboo that is here. The urns that you see up in all the alcoves being lit, um, we handpicked again from Panjuan Market in Beijing and brought them back ourselves. The machines along here are the ellipticals and the treadmills. Top of the line from Precor and Nautilus. Rounding into this space, is our Hong Kong workout and stretch area. You notice the bird cages again from the bird market in Hong Kong. We handpicked and hand carried these back all the way from Hong Kong. So they are all authentic. You can actually even see some of the artist's signatures on the bottom of them. Um, a high density rubber floor. Obviously all the balls, uh, the foam rollers and such are available for use after your workout if you want to stretch out. Um, maybe do a few different um, uh, core exercise, ab exercise, they're all available to members all the time. We we'll also hold our classes in this area. Uh, like I said, it's a class for six people where the instructor will stand here and work with you independently and as a class. So after your workout, you can come here, sit down, have a rest, and enjoy a nice Chinese cup of tea. Need to catch up on your emails or want to surf on the internet? We have complimentary internet. Well, thank you so much for coming, Maggie. That was wonderful. Um, we're glad that Toronto TV and, uh, and obviously yourself could, to, could come and join us and experience Ayoko Cardio. Great. Best of luck. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.